Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, I'm going to show you the Zoya Spring Collection Thrive. Zoya is one of those brands that I don't tend to buy often. I have two polishes that I bought in the past and I almost never use them because I can't stand their brush. Also in this collection, if you look, these colors are all sort of very similar. Like these two look similar and then these three are almost in the same family group. They only have the one standout, which is Darby. Darby is a gray blue shade with an iridescent shift. It has like a uh, blue to gray, maybe purple. I can't really tell. It's hard for me to pinpoint. I think it's the color of the polish underneath kind of heart hides the shift a bit, but it also intensifies it. It's very interesting. I like it because it reminds me of the first Cinderella movie by Disney. Like her dress wasn't like a hugely vibrant blue. It was like a silver blue. And let me tell you, I wore that tape out as a kid. Like the band came out, it was all terrible. Here it is with two coats. Next we have Trudith, which I think is the perfect purple for spring. It's not too light, it's not too dark, and it has that soft yet pastel -y feel while still being clearly purple. There are a lot of colors out there in the spring that come out and they're like, yes, this is pink and yes, this is purple, but it's also almost white. So how can you even tell? So this one I think is a great find if you want a nice, obviously purple color for spring that isn't too bright. Here is Brandy. Brandy is one of those soft mauve rose colors. I have about 12 different lipstick colors that all look identical to this. It's sad, but this is the color I like for my lips. And I think this year I'm going to be really into the rosy mauve colors. Last year it was a lot of different blues, but this year I think it's definitely gonna be these. I cannot stand the Zoya brush. It is so thin. It is like a French tip brush. And for a $10 polish, I find it offensive that they don't give me a better brush. But this color is very nice, so I'm slightly forgiving, but not very much. Here is Monroe, which is a more of a rose red as opposed to a rosy mauve. This one was actually fairly interesting because on the first coat, it came out sort of sheer like a jelly polish. And then once I put a second coat on, it was like a regular creme polish. I didn't really find anything to stand out about this. Um, I do love their leveling agents. They're very nice, they're very smooth. But it's eh for me. Next is Liesl, which I think is the oldest daughter from The Sound of Music. And it, it actually kind of looks like the color of the dress she wears when she sings with that blonde Nazi boy. It's a soft purpley pink jelly base with iridescent glitters. And be careful getting it all over your skin because it's that type of polish that when you go to remove it, you're going to have glitters that refuse to leave you and you'll be annoyed and you'll rub your skin raw. Also, this color definitely needs three coats to be fully opaque. Here I have it with three coats and I was kind of disappointed by that because I liked the color and was hoping I wouldn't have to do as many coats. Here is Haraku, which is the light side of the lilac shades that you usually get for spring, except here it has iridescent shifts in it that goes from purple to pink. Or, I'm sorry, purple to blue. If it didn't have this iridescent shift, I would say that it was a very typical spring color, that other people have done it, and there's nothing interesting about it. But because it has the iridescence to it, it's sort of a little bit different. I don't think I care for polishes with this light color and iridescent because it still looks like a shimmer. The iridescent has to be really sort of stand out or popish or really intensify the color for me and I don't think it did it here.
out of all of them, I think Darby, Trudith, and Brandy were the ones I liked the best. Monroe, Liesl, and Haruku were not really my favorites, so I don't know if I'm going to be buying more sets of Zoya Polish. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!